everyone, it's Nursa from Nurses Stitching Lifestyle. Welcome. Um, today is the 8th of February, 2024. God, I still keep saying 2024 in my head. It's just gone so quick this, uh, this year so far, unbelievably. Um, today is just a general update on what I stitched over the last two and a bit weeks. Didn't quite make my goal of my two week return, but that's okay. It's only the beginning of the year and we're gonna make this keep happening. Um, so I have a finish and I have a start and I worked on quite a few whips. Um, for me, not a lot on each one, um, but I'm finding I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying just doing a nice little night or two on a project and then flicking into something else um yeah i'll show you as we go anyway okay so the first one i want to show you is my finish which was sarah spencer 1870 and this was my blessing sampler that i chose to do um for january it is designed by Hands Across the Sea Samplers, or reproduced, sorry, by Hands Across the Sea Samplers. I stitched my one, just gonna drop that down there. Stitched my one on 40 count, 18 inches older. I used the um, Call for DMC threads, and she's come out beautifully. I absolutely love how she is. She needs a, a bit of a press. Um, but she looks beautiful. I had this pattern for so long and I hesitated for so long to start it. And I don't know why I do that to myself sometimes. But we do. It's gorgeous. Um, these are the DMC threads that I used. I'm looking a bit tatty now, but that's okay. Um, gorgeous colours. I love, still love the little wee birdies at the top and the big bright red in the frames. It's, um, just looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So that was my finish for January. So finish number one out of the road for the for the year. I am going to kind of pop a little bit in and out of the screen. I do apologise for that. Um, it's just the way that the situation is at the moment, space-wise, and trying to fit everything in. Okay, so where will we start? We'll just grab a whip. Right, so one of the next ones that I worked on was Anne Dale, 1827. Big and beautiful, and it's by Shakespeare's Peddler. Sorry, it is a black and white print out um, and I've been kind of well, you can kind of see but I've been crossing out like as I go where I'm at so I kind of know where when I just have a glance as to what I've got left to do um, so I only stitched on this for one evening um, she is being stitched on I'll just find it 40 count that I hand dyed myself um, it's got some tan and pink over over overtones, undertones, if you like. Um, colours used in my fabric, and this is all the beautiful three colours. So I'm using the DMCs, readily available. So much easier when doing such a big project. Right, so I have put things on boards this time because I just find sometimes it's a bit easier. So, if I pull it back here, you can't quite see, she has to keep it, the whole thing. So this time round, I worked in here. So I had done these two. Um, I bought my top line of my shelf, grass, if you like, along here. And I started on this vase. Now I have, it's kind of hard to see the colours. Um, it's a bit dull day here in Christchurch, New Zealand. It's, um, drizzle and overcast so the light's not exactly the best um, it's probably about right there 
Um, so I've done the vase, started the stems, and there is a couple of little wee pinky parts to the flowers have been done on this one. Um, and then I thought, no, I don't want to carry on with those flowers. I'm coming along, and then I've started the next one, done the base and started it on the red flowers. But I do love how this is coming together. We're slowly getting there. It's gorgeous. But we'll get there. It will get finished. One stitch, keep us going. All right, so I'm going to put things on the other side as we go. Hopefully not to make too much on the next. Okay, so another oldie that I brought out and worked on, and I have decided at least one evening a fortnight I am stitching on this. And that is... Oh, no, we're going to have to raise her this way. Sorry. And that is a Dusty Rose Retired Pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs. This has been an ongoing work for a very long time and time she was finished. So this time round, I had discussed last time that I wasn't sure if I wanted to carry on going this way and then come down or come down. So I decided I'm coming down to the bottom, which is only about here. It's about, I think if I remember right from the pages, it's, it's about another 30 stitches down and that'll be the bottom of the design. And then I'll just, I'm going to work basically along and across. Um, but I wanted to get this, this in so I know where the end is and it just makes it easier. So yeah, so got some more of the dark greys in that in. Um, there's another colour and another patch of dark grey kind of over here. And then the rest of it is just black filling, which once I get to that, that flies. It goes really quick because you can do it watching anything, doing anything. Um, this one is being stitched on 18 count, and I'm not going to unscroll it. She is a huge big girl, but you will see this every fortnight. Um, she's she is definitely my, in my goal. It's the only goal of set that oh, piece of here um, that I want to stitch on every fortnight. I want the skill out of my work pile this year. Um, but yeah, she's beautiful. Um, being stitched, yeah, 18 count Ada and with DMC threads. Sorry, she's a, a long term project, definitely. Okay, so after I worked on that for an evening, I had some exciting mail arrive. That I've been, I, the first day it came out, I think within an hour, I'd, I'd ordered this, which is nothing unusual for me. You guys should know that by now. Um, and it is a stitch in time saves nine and it is an exclusive reproduction for a stitch in time in Hobart, Tasmania and it is from the design studios of Hands Across the Seas Art Plus. Very beautiful little wee red sampler. So I only ordered the chart, I didn't do the kit this time round because I knew I had plenty of reds and 100 threes and by chance I have the correct red anyway. So I am going to use the correct red but I am using a different fabric. Um, let me just find my little piece. I am using 55 count just a Kingston linen so it is just in a neutral. It's not a dyed. So there's the little sum postcard of the little sampler and here is my teeny tiny little start so i've started up here in the corner and started on the letter a just in here and it was literally only a few hours stitching if that it was one of those late shift end of the night ones came home excited package on the doorstep and i thought you know what i'm just gonna start it so she started so yeah, 55 count, 103 silky threads. Um, when I do do this size count, I do use a little wee tension hoop just to help open the holes up. Just makes it a little bit easier to see as you're going. Um, so yeah, it's a little hoop mark from the, from the thing. Had to move it twice, so that was quite good. So extremely expensive project bag. We've got to have one or two in those, don't we? So 
So yay, new start. Um, the next one that I worked on. Sorry, just make sure I have pulled it out of the bag. This is the project bag for it. It's a little wee envelope style bag with the Velcro top. And the one I pulled out was Dutch Beauty. So enjoy stitching on this one. Haven't got very far stole. Well, for me, I feel I haven't got very far. Fathers, they may think I've got far, but we are working our way along. So, um, I'll just, just click this fabric in the back. Ah, it's come undone. I'll have to click on there. She is being stitched on 46 count up in the attic by Fox and Rabbit. I am using the DMC threads, one over one. It's a called for threads. It's amazing when you look at the combo. It's like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen colours. It is that. Oh, sorry, it was the camera. Thirteen colours. And this is where we're at so far. So this is the top left hand corner. Oh, that light there. Oh, that's a bit bigger, isn't it? A little bit darker. Um, so this is what I'd done previously. It was along here, coming along the top. This is the first arch. I decided to not do the lady yet. Um, and come along and started doing the vases and flower pots, which are hold that up a little wee bit. You can kind of see in here. So it's these three here were the ones that I started working on. So done the vases. I think I've got another colour to go in this one and then started the stems of the flowers. So then when I go back to it, I can do all the bright colours. Well, as bright as Dutch Beauty does get. So we're almost, this is the centre motif, which goes in over here next. We sort of bring the border along across the top here. Um, but we're making good progress. Loving how that's looking. Probably turn it around there is probably a bit more accurate colour wise. It's very pretty. Can't wait to get further into this. Um, really would love. I'm, I'm almost tempted to go here and go down the middle. Because the, it's mirror, mirrored, sorry, mirrored on each side. So same, same design facing the Facing different ways, slightly different colour. You know, like this has the arch, but something else in the middle of it. Um, and kind of then just work my way out to the outsides, but don't know yet. Let's just wait and see. But very, very beautiful. Such a fun, loving stitch to work on. Um, it's yeah, really nice to stitch with. Stitch on. I'm going past. Okay, so my next one I pulled out, which actually I pulled out yesterday, so I'm a wee bit out of order, um, was GH1857. Loved this one as soon as it came out at market. Was it market last year? Was. Is it the last year or the year before? I'm just trying to see if it's got a date in it. Copyright 2022. Did it come out 2022 or 2023? Can't remember which market it was at, but love it. So, stretch your wet feet. That's all right. Rightio, so she is being stitched on number 12 stitch coat, Russian caramel, 40 count. So I had done the border coming down here. I don't want these big projects, but they're hard to get into the camera. Um, and I'd done the blue of the vase here. So last night I worked on all the green stems. So that's now ready to start putting in all the flower parts. Which, let me see if I can find a bit of, oops, there goes my cottons. Um, so 
Let's see if I can see. Mm. That one doesn't either. It's not a clear photo of that particular corner of the chart. Um, it's a bit hard to tell. Oh, so sorry. We have it hard to tell, but it's this flower here. So next time I come in, I can go and do the, the different flowers and finish up the little bit in the middle of the vase. So that would be nice. Can't wait to get to that house. Upside down. So here we are once again. Beautiful. And the threads are, excuse me for a second. The threads are Weak Snow Works. And this is another example. There's only like, I think it's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine colours, ten, nine or ten colours. That is it. I mean, there's multiples of some of them. Um, but yeah, pages, greens, light blue, dark blue. Gorgeous. And I love using the big style works. So she got a night, she got a night, as in last night. Um, and this is her little cute bag. Made my bag myself, that she sits in. I need to make some new project bags. Some of these are getting very worn. I'm just gonna pop that back in there so I don't lose that one. Okay. Um, oh, pulled. Pull the chair over this way just a little bit. All right, so the next one, we've got some little stitching. This is the project bag. Another one that I made by my, made myself. And that is another Hands Across the Sea samplers. This one was a exclusive um, sampler to Hobby House Needleworks and Florence Mary Dickinson. And this is a gorgeous sampler. And it's been stitched on 46 count cream brulee by Tabby Cat Linen um, using 103 sock threads. So beforehand, Turn it, yeah, turn it there, kind of gets a bit better reality of the colour of the fabric. Um, so I've done all on the top here. And I had started in here. And on this one, I just worked on this tiny little wee red flower bud up here. And then oh, I want, wanted to get one of these deers in. So I stitched on the deer there. So that's quite cool. That's not bad. This one had a couple of evenings, um, only short evenings because there were nights when I was working late shifts, so I didn't get a lot of stitching in. But that and the deer in the grass in it, he's on. So that's this part here. So that's cool. So I'm not sure if I want to come finish this big flower in the middle and then come across and do the other deer. Then I can finish the framework of the border, so it was really and kind of do a, a bit of a motif and a bit of the bit of the border because there's quite a bit of work in those little flowers on the on the border. But absolutely beautiful, loving how this one is coming out as well. I will say that about all my projects. I love my projects. They are definitely my sanity. They keep me going. Okay, so. Ooh, we're down to the last whip. Right, -o. so project bag made many, many, many years ago. This is um, using the envelope style by Vonna. Two pieces of okay. bright green. Just use spare fabrics that I had lying around. Um, but I do like the envelope style as well as the um, zip styles. Okay, so the one I worked on this time, I haven't pulled out for a while is by the sample company and this is called the contented mind sampler so as you can see from in the picture here there's still a wee way to go so this time round, i have worked um finished off the flowers on this one here 
I then came down and the vase is a little bit, there he is there, the vase is there, to see, you can see it quite easily in, just in the eye, but just that light hitting the, um, the piece from outside is just not helping at the moment. Okay, and then I did the capital A, so there's capital letters to go all the way across here, and then I have done the small or lowercase alphabet, A to Z. She is being stitched on. Let me have a look. Got it hooked on there this time. Um, let me have a look. 46 count hog bristle by Fox and Rabbit. Um, using the DMC threads. So I like using um, the thread drops when I'm, especially with my DMC threads, and when I'm stitching on like 36, 40, 46, 55. 56, 52, um, because I like to use one thread and it's so much easier to just pull one thread off the thread drops than to unravel off, a, off the old um, bobbins. And that part here. Yeah. Love how this one is coming out as well. So that's another one we're all just, I think my goal with some of these not all of them, but with some of them is I just kind of want to stitch a sample, a motif or a piece like like the goal was to get through that lowercase ABC. That's up. I'm just going to pop it away. If it comes out this next fortnight, then I'll pick something else to to work on. And that, I just want to do it in little bits and pieces um, just to get some progress on some of them because otherwise I concentrate on one or two, which I still want to do anyway. Um, and I don't really start the others. Um, that's all the stitching I'm going to show you. And the reason why is because I've been doing some demo stitching for the New Zealand retreat that's coming up. Um, I've been doing some gift stitching as well. So I can't show you those because then people will work out who they're for. And I can't do that. That would just be be not right but I do want to show you a couple of things so just hold on two seconds okay so I did um, no I did leave one in the other room um what was its name it's the latest um exclusive from traditional stitches and I can't remember and I'm starting it next week <laughs> hold on a second okay and I'm back for you 20 seconds maybe okay so the one I my mind could not remember was Anne Johnson 1835 from traditional stitches exclusive from hands across the sea samplers I have my fabric, it's very cold, mm, still smells funny. And my thread bed. And my awesome storage box for this project. <laughs> I need to sew some project bags. I need some time off work to sew some project bags. That will happen. Not worried about it. So my hundred threads. At the moment, they're just sitting in there because if I put them in here, the cat can't play with them and they don't end up being lost under the couch. Um, so I will be starting in Johnson. I can't think what the start date is. It's within the next fortnight anyway um, with the stitch along. So I can't wait to do that. Absolutely gorgeous. And the colours are going to pop so much on that fabric. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that one there. So that's um, that stitch along. I have another stitch along that I will be starting on the 29th um, of February. So, of course, the extra day for leap year. Um, sorry, this one's in, in a very expensive project bag as well. Only because I've been collecting all the bits up to go. Now I've had this pattern oh, for a good few years. 
and I need to actually finish getting it ready. Um, and this is for the leap year stitch along that has been done by New Zealand Cross Stitch Group. And I'm sure there's probably other groups that are doing a um, full year project. And I, when I was looking through every, what everyone else is posting, so many people wanting to do heaven and earth designs. And I think it's absolutely wonderful, absolutely amazing. They just take so much time. And because I love to stitch a lot of big projects, I thought I'm not starting another one. I do have about half a dozen more <laughs> that I do want to stitch. Um, but I'm determined not to start another one until I have finished um, Dusty Rose. I want to finish her before I start another one. Otherwise, she'll just get pushed aside and I'll just be right into the next one. Um, so I'm not going to do that. That could be maybe the next yes, start. Who knows? Um, but I do want to start Lucy. Is it Nivea? Nivea? 1818. And she was Queen of the May 2019. Um, from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. I don't. I didn't look. I was going to. I didn't look to see if she was still available or not. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I mean, you might be able to find her in a needlework shop, but I don't think she's available through the website anymore. Anyway, so I have my fabric. I need to search the edges. Maybe I'll do that this afternoon. I'll level her up, square her up, and um, search the edges. I'm going to do her on the DMC threads. My fabric of choice was... It's a... Check the fabric. I think it looks like it might be a 40. 40 count. Um, and it's one that I've dyed myself. It's kind of a bit hard to see the colours, but you'll get to see it a lot. Because it's going to have to be a big, a big four year project because there's a lot of specialty stitches in this one. Um, what do we have? We have cross stitch, of course. Um, cross stitch over one and two threads. Tent stitch, satin stitch, stem stitch, Algerian eyelet, long bullion stitch, and the tree of French knots. There's all of this tree in here. It's all French knots. I think that's why <laughs> I can do French knots. Just probably by the time I finish the tree, I'll be good at them. No, I can do them. They just frustrate me sometimes and I end up pulling them out and doing them again. But the aim is by the time I get that tree finished, I will not have any problems with French knots ever again. Or I may never do them again, one or the other. But I do love Lucy. So yes, so that is my leap year start. So if anyone else wants to jump in with us, um, more than welcome. If you're not in the New Zealand cross stitch, because that's really only for New Zealanders, um, I'm sure there's other groups that are probably doing a start for that date as well. And yeah, if not, I'll um, I'll post it on Instagram and just use the leap year stitching cell hashtag. Okay, so the other thing that I would like to go through is. Um, Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie the Stitcher, please say I've got that right Lizzie because you're on my phone, um, she does Instagram and she does floss tube, she's another New Zealand stitcher and her birthday is coming up June or July, early morning brain is not working I tell you, um, and we're going to do a Stacy Nash stitch along. Um, so any small, and this is for her birthday. So the other night when I was too tired to stitch, which is not very often, I at least try to get at least 10 to 50 stitches in. That's my minimum. Um, but anyway, I went through my smalls and I came up with some of them aren't Stacy Nashes. Oops, there goes the bag. But I did come up with a big pile 
And these are smalls I would like to also stitch to get started this year. Because, as you know, I love my big samplers, I love my big projects. But I do also have a whole pile of smalls that I do want to get done. Um, one that I am sure pretty much everybody has either stitched or started or probably has hiding in their stash the same as I do. But I've never got around to actually doing them. And these are by Little House Needleworks. All of them, yes, they are. Um, and it is needleworker, is one of them. Home of a needleworker, little house needleworks, and this one is home of a needleworker squared. And then the other one I've got in this pile is a tree gathering. And I've wanted to do these for ages. I've admired them. I've watched everyone do them. And I have all the threads. So I'm like, why am I not started them? Because I push them aside to do my big projects. Because I love working on my big projects. So these are going into my pile of need to start, want to work on smalls. So I'm going to show you the, the ones that I haven't decided on for Lizzie's stitching but the other smalls I want to work first and then I'll show you the other ones so another one I want to get done is the sampler here by Lady Dan. he's so cute okay and sweet pea because I have to have the set can't nod um Francis 1863 so three rabbits bunnies ears just double check there's not another one tucked in there since they just all fell out of kind of order no okay so then that's them three um out on a limb by chessie and me so cute i love the little cat there under the tree it so reminds me of wow one of my two if i bushied up the tail a little bit that would probably remind me of two of my cats that's station ash. Oops, can't show that one. That's just a pattern, not the other. Um, L Genders, 1875 by Brenda Gervais. I think I've gone to stitch this about five or six times. It's not a, it's not a complicated stitch. I even have the fabric in behind. And there's probably thread tucked in there somewhere. That does look awfully big weave. I'll make it smaller. Um, Erica Michaels, Quaker Berry. And then we have Erica Michaels, Sampler Berry. And the last one's so far in there. I have got others, but they're the other ones that I've pulled out at this stage. And that is the English Sampler Berries by Erica Michael as well. So I want to get them done. Small. Okay, so then for my Stacey Nash stitch along with Lizzie, I have one, two, three, four, five. All right, and I can't decide. Alright, so the first one is Anne's Sampler Pinky. And I love these. I've had these since they came out. It's like, why have I not stitched them? So gorgeous. I want to get those started. Um, Schoolgirl Sampler Sewing Bag. Not a lot of stitching in it. Have it already. All the threads. I've seen my fabric. Plenty of that. Um, Seek goodness, pink heap, drum, and strawberry enemy. Um, emery. And that's just a little wee drum. Which is gorgeous. Okay, little red work pin cape. Which is, that's the front. And that's the back. So you can do it as two. I'll probably do it as two, I think. Just sort of pulls out more gap. So that contemplations. The one I think I am gonna do. It's 
still don't know though, is 1806 Manor House Sewing Room. Sorry about the glare, I just don't want to pull them all out of the plastic. Um, I love that big red house. She's just such a sweet little wee lady. And then the big, the tree and the vine that comes all the way around. Sweetie to go. <laughs> so sad. So I think that's probably the one that's going to win out. But I do want to search the other ones this year for um, Lizzie's birthday start. Birthday month stitch lot. Okay. Um, the other thing I do want to talk about, if you've made it this far to the end, is that I got just over 3,000 subscribers. Wow. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for subscribing. I love getting all the comments. I know sometimes I'm a bit slow at getting back to you on your comments. Um, sometimes I, I read it and I'm like, oh, I need to reply to that when I finish work. So I might get the notification when I'm at work. And then something happens during the day and you just don't get there. It can be a couple of days or I wait till my day off and reply to everybody at once. Um, so, but thank you. Thank you so much um, for doing that. So when I was going through looking for my smalls, I did discover that I've double shot and I have two. So I'm going to do a giveaway for my 3,000 subscribers. I'm going to give away a copy of the Hannah Coates 1848 sampler. This is so cute. I love the little birds. This red house. And this lady. She is so cool. I love her headdress. It's a big blue feather sticking out of her hair. So I have mine. And I'm going to give away this one. It will not have the threads. It is just going to be the book. Um, I will ship internationally. There's no worries about that. Um, so... Can't enter put in competition, win all the little keywords that bring all the trolls and stuff. Please don't use those. Um, I think we will use, let's use the word sampler. Make it easy. Use the word sampler in your comment. Um, and that will put you in the drawer to be entered to win Hannah. And I will draw her in my next flush year, which will be pretty much two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks away. Um, yeah, I will do that. So you must be 18 because I have to be able to send it to you legally. Uh, yeah, like I said, not worried if you're in New Zealand, Australia, England, America, I will post it. No worries, not a problem. So yes, if you would like to win Hannah Coates, Please comment with the word sampler um, to be entered into the drawer. Okay. So, on that note, I'm done. I'm finished. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I know it's probably been a little bit rushed. Um, yeah, just a lot going on. Things are starting to settle down and be quietened down a little wee bit at work. Um, which means that Marissa gets to go home on time. No, no extra hours having to stay so far at Touchwood. Um, and do all the extra bits and pieces. Which means more stitchy time. So yay. So guys, thank you very much for watching once again. Um, please remember, one stitch at a time will get our projects done. Whether it's a big sampler or a Christmas ornament. Anything like that. One stitch at a time will get our projects done. Thanks. See ya.